Hello everyone, Reverend Kyle here, and I am surrounded by new technology. Now, why is that? Because I have deemed August to be Build a New VR PC Month. And uh, this is actually coming from uh, the new sponsor for the RevVR podcast, which is Intel. And so this is a paid advertisement from Intel. Uh, but I will have you know that I purchased all of these components myself with my own money, including the Intel Core i7-6700K, which this entire machine is based around. Uh, but obviously we've got some other fun things to play with as well. So let's get started in building the actual machine. So like I said, I do have the Intel Core i7-6700K as the processor. Uh, but what else, what other parts do we have? So let's see here, I have a MSI Z170A uh, Crate Gaming 3X. Now, uh, this is the motherboard, and uh, I'll be honest with you, the 3X, I'm not really sure, you know, looking at the box and all that stuff. It's got some good uh, stuff. You can pause and check it out if you want. But uh, all in all, in terms of motherboards, I'm usually about a $150 kind of guy, and so uh, I stuck with that. This has got all sorts of fun pieces to it. Now I'm going to uh, bust into this here in just a moment. Now, what do I have in terms of RAM? So I've got 16 gig of DDR4 uh, PC4 21300 I don't know, whatever. It's high end 16 gig DDR4 RAM. Uh, I went with the Patriot Viper RAM uh, just because it was a little bit, uh, you know, the, the latency was a little bit lower. Uh, this was a CL15 as opposed to the CL16s that some of them had. And uh, it just, you know, it was a good price. I couldn't pass it up. Uh, it still has the heat sink on it and all that. And I know a lot of people were saying, oh, get Corsair, Corsair. But, you know, really, I think this is going to be fine. In terms of a hard drive, uh, I went tried and true. Samsung 750 Evo, 500 gig. Uh, I will probably go and add another hard drive later on, uh, you know, just a cold storage type of thing. But I'm just waiting for the right deal to pique my interest, you know, some sort of like 4 terabyte 7200 RPM type of thing. We'll throw that in later. But really, truly, all the games will sit on this and 500 gigabytes is about the bare minimum nowadays of what I would recommend to put in as your primary uh, PC hard drive. Uh, in terms, you know, somebody was like, oh, go M2 or, oh, you know, go this or whatever. Uh, the 850 Pros or, eh, you know what? Uh, this is, this is going to be just fine. In terms of power supply, we've got the uh, Corsair RM650i. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, this is the first build, and this kind of goes to show how long my old machine lasted. This is the first build that I have done that uh, has the modular cords plug in what you need, as opposed to having just a tangle of mess all over the place. So that uh, is going to go in first, and then I've got this uh, cool little baggie full of cables that uh, will be popping in there. Now, how about cooling our processor. So with an Intel Core i7 6700K, uh, that K means that it's unlocked and I can do some overclocking, but in order to do that I need to make sure that I am cooling it appropriately. So I was told to get an Enermax. Uh, this was a uh, Lickmax, Lick, <laughs> Lickmax, uh, 2 240. Uh, it's an all-in-one liquid cooler, and again I'll, I'll bust into this and I'll show you what that looks like when we go to install it. And then Last but not least, they had one in stock, so I went ahead and picked one up, you know, just because I guess I'll go ahead and throw in a GTX 1070. And uh, 8 gigabytes of GDR, GDDR5, uh, you know, I'm sure this will be okay. We'll, we'll see how it performs. All right, uh, let's get started. Let's, let's dig into the case. Oh, the case also, um, I'll just share this with you here, is the Corsair C70. And uh, this is the military green case. Now, I've been told, a little birdie told me that this is the same case that Palmer Lucky uses for his personal ring. So uh, we'll be case buddies. <laughs> All right, let's dig into this and start building it.
It's all built. Nothing's more important than the first boot. This is the first time the computer will be turned on ever. And uh, let's let's see. I've got uh, got power, HDMI, keyboard and mouse is wireless. So let's uh, let's see what happens. Ah, you know what it helps? I'll flip the little switch back here. There we go. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Will I get a post? Up. Oh. F1 to run setup. All right, so this is uh, exactly what I would expect to have happen. Look at that Intel Core i7 6700K functioning at. And I look at my mouse working. Functioning at four gigahertz DDR speed, 2133 megahertz. CPU temperature 28, 29 degrees Celsius. So it looks like we are in good shape. It is very rare for me to boot a machine the first time and it actually work. Uh, this puppy is purring like a kitten and I couldn't be happier. So uh, it looks like we are in good shape, folks. I'm going to go ahead and set this up, install Windows. I hope you've all enjoyed me building this new machine, this new VR PC for Build a New VR PC Month, month of August 2016. Uh, paid advertisement by Intel. Thank you very much for that. And uh, I'll see you all very, very soon.